the DC for Chufu Himanloa uh, Dentra. Himanwa Kojo Nana is accusing the MP for Himan Dentra Bright Rekubrobe of masterminding his removal after a short illness. The DC explains that a member of parliament was ex uh, opposed to his candidature as the district chief executive and used his ill health as a basis for his removal a few months ago. His reaction follows a petition by some mem assembly members of the district for the president to remove him because he's been absent from office for close to one year. So News is Richard Kojonyako caught up with him in his office. So we are in the office of the district chief executive <laughs> for Chufu Himan Lua Mr. Imano Nana. Mr. Ike Nana is in the office. And there have been some petitions by some assemblymen that he does not come to the office. And for that matter, they do not see how development has been going on. They have also been labeling or listing a number of financial morphisms and supposed corrupt deals that are going on in his absence. With regards to the financial morphisms and other things, I don't think there is any iota of truth in any of those allegations because everything that has been occurring since my illness I have had opportunity to go through everything and then I know everything that is happening in the assembly and so these things there are pieces of evidence to prove that nothing has gone on which amounts to corruption or malfeasance for example they were mentioning uh, this road network that Top has made. Do Top has already done the road, and then we have al also included it in our, what do you call it, uh, plan that we are we, uh, or raised memo for it. That is never true. We have done the road from the main road, the main Jukwaku Prasu road, to the new assembly block. That is the only road that we have done. And so we haven't done or we haven't raised any memo for any road that has been done by top. The DC has been accusing the member of parliament for this area, Bright Rekubrobe, who has, happens to be the deputy employment and labor relations minister. The MP uh, from the one, the DC explains, has been and someone who opposed his candidature for this very position. And some of these allegations that are, have been listed in this petition have been raised by him and have been sent to the regional minister. A committee was um, formed and these, the appropriate persons were also called to justify or corroborate these and then they were all found to be frivolous. I know that there are people, big people underneath that are orchestrating these moves. Because as for sickness, nobody wants to be to get sick, and it is it is by God. It comes when it has to come, and nobody has control over it. And so, when somebody gets sick, as human beings, we should be patient and then empathize with him. But that is not what is happening now, and I can say that. There are people beneath who are just pushing the assembly members. Because in spite of my illness, I have been doing my work as is expected of me. And so, but from day one, my MP has never supported my candidature. Even when my name was mentioned, he tried every possible means to dissuade some of the assembly members from voting. And after my confirmation, he still says that I am not his type of N uh, DC, so he will never support me. He will never support me. He has said it on several platforms and several occasions, and there is proof to it. And so these matters were first raised by him, the MP, Honorable Rekumbrobe, and he sent the matter to the regional minister. When the regional minister invited the then uh, engineer and the coordinating director. And he called the MP to bring evidence. He couldn't bring any evidence to show that there was uh, more feasance or more practices or corruption. As a DCE for Chefo Heman, who uh, uh, some uh, assembly members have, have put together a petition for President Kufado to remove him. So.